one of the entry points that I have truly seen why people start thinking in methods, in ways that are going to make a negative harvest for them. And their life is going to be terrible because they're always comparing themselves to somebody else. They're always comparing about, um, you know, how, oh, well, I tried to do that. And instead of, you know, doing what that person did, I only did this. And so then they discount what they did. They are compare that comparison is the gateway through which bad seeds and therefore bad crops are going to come up in your thought life. That you start loving yourself the way that you would want your child to be loved, the way you would want your best friend to be loved. Negative thoughts, the fruit on a tree of your beliefs, all right? And so when you see constant behavior, then that means that fruit constantly reproduced itself in your life. You know, if you don't understand or take control or take responsibility of them, maybe you have the habit of watching Netflix six hours a day. Listen, that so many people could easily turn their situation around had they if they would just take account of their time they would be able to have an actual accurate account of what is happening with their time they'd be able to change their life so quickly you'll get into toxic rumination you know especially if you're not you didn't break that trauma bond yet and before you know it 3 hours of your life are gone because you've just been sitting around doing toxic rumination thinking about all of, he did this and then she did this and then this happened to me okay that is a waste of time you're th- you're you're going to be sowing more of the same kind of thoughts that have gotten you the life that you have now. Who you hang out with is so important because if you have somebody who knows more than you, you now don't need to know all the things they know. You just need to know how to ask the right questions to get what they know to you so that you can use that information yourself. Okay, and this is the brilliant concept of using masterminds. This is why networking is so important. Who you hang out with is so important that you are truly able to be present. You're not getting distracted. You're not just letting your mind go wherever it wants to go when you are in the presence of people who are truly amazing and great. Lots of people just get in people's atmosphere and never do anything with it. They read a book, never do anything with that information. Listen to a podcast, don't ever do anything with that information. Using the masterminds. This is the It's not just getting around good people. It's not just changing your circle. It's using it. It's doing something with it. You have to be a good steward of that. This is what harnessing your mind is all about. Learning how to control your emotions, learning how to control your thoughts. And none of that is possible if there's all still these open doors. You're you're still trauma bonded to the narcissist. You still haven't done gone through and truly broken off the covenants, which has its own section, which followed by that is the soul ties. Take inventory of your present situation relative to the size and the quality of your thinking. In other words, if you're, if you do not like your, if everywhere you see is destruction, disaster in your life, that is showing you that's the quality and size of your thoughts constantly repeated over a period of time. Those qualities naturally will draw to you the house, the car, you know, the business, the clothes, the income, the whatever it is that you are looking after in the natural in order to make your dreams happen, or even just to enjoy yourself because you know that that's the standard by which you will be treated. All of the desires that you have, the wants that you have, like I'm talking about the house, the car, the things, the clothes, the friends, the income, the clubs that you belong to, all of that stuff demands a certain level from you. It will demand it also be treated with respect. It demands that also the standard. Everything in the natural reflects something that resonates in the in the soul realm. Okay, there's something within the soul realm that resonates to that. Once you write down all of those things, you need to start talking to yourself as if and and feel feel like those are naturally yours. This is naturally a reflection of the inner world that I'm tra- that I am creating and you really need to embody it. You need to walk through your day as if those things are already yours.